What is up, Pats Nation? It is Patriots Global back here with another video, and in this one, we are going to be talking about how the Patriots are one of the most improved teams in the league post-draft. Now, a lot of teams have gotten better post-draft. There's a good amount of them, but the Patriots are one of them, and you can make the argument that they are the most improved team following the draft also. You look at who the Patriots lost already this offseason, um, and it, it's hard to replace. You lost a tight end in Rob Gronkowski. Then you lost a bulk of your wide receivers. You lost Cordero Patterson, who maybe was not the top threat of your offensive playbook, but he was a very versatile guy, a fast guy, a guy that didn't have the best hands but still had the ability to catch, a guy you did a lot of of sweeps with off the sides a guy who was your kick returner and then you lost a longer term patriot in chris hogan a guy that built the chemistry with tom brady a guy who had been there for a long time and a guy who got the job done although it didn't seem like that this past season patriots then go and they lose trey flowers in free agency their best defensive lineman easily last year easily the year before they bring Michael Bennett back, but obviously that is not enough as in with a Trey Flowers, the Patriots were getting youth, they were getting a younger guy as with Michael Bennett, they are getting an older guy who only has so much more time in the NFL. Patriots also go ahead and they lose a Trent Brown in free agency, the starting left tackle, the big baby face Trent just goes off and signs a massive deal with the Oakland Raiders. And for the consecutive season, the Patriots have some questions at this left tackle spot on their offensive line. But not only did the Patriots go out and they added some great depth, but they got multiple steals in the draft. And they also got a lot more physical, which is something that you have said the Patriots have needed for the longest time. New England's wide receiver core was easily one of the NFL's worst it was one of their biggest needs, if not their biggest need. You had Julian Edelman as the Pats' number one wide receiver, but who came second, third, fourth on the depth chart after that provided very big questions. Tom Brady did not have a number two guy by any means. He didn't. Everything was thrown up in the air. The only thing you knew was Julian Edelman was number one. Patriots then go in the first round and and draft Nikhil Harry, a six foot two wide receiver who, one, is going to add some height to the Patriots wide receiver group, but two, is going to give Tom Brady that easily, easily that number two wide receiver that he is going to look to go to. You then add the fact that the Patriots now have added Dontrell, Dontrell Inman and also guys like a Demarius Thomas and their wide receiver group starts to shape up very well and it becomes easily the best battle going into training camp, going into OTAs. Because as of right now, you are looking at guys on the Patriots wide receiver group fighting for a spot and well not a Julian Edelman. Julian Edelman and Akiba Harry are not fighting for spots, but they will be on the team. So you have your wide receivers in a bunch of either, you know, Julian Edelman, a Nikhil Harry, a Philip Dorsett, possibly a Josh Gordon, a Demarius Thomas, John Terrell Inman, Braxton Berrios, and the list just goes on and I think will continue to go on also. All in all, with Nikhil Harry, the Patriots are getting a tall guy who can play in the middle of the field, can play the outside of the field, and can be the threat that Rob Gronkowski kind of provided I don't think he's going to come in year one and just be um, as productive as Rob Gronkowski is I don't think anyone really just comes in and does that but can help play the similar role on catching those 50-50 balls the Patriots had two main steals in this draft for a team to get one steal is amazing but for someone like the New England Patriots defending Super Bowl champions a team that seems to go back year after year to have two steals in the draft and are getting younger guys guys who can build for the future while they're also under rookie contracts is just mind-boggling patriots already had a great depth at the running back position but then they go and they take someone like a damian harris something that was extremely unexpected and they take him a uh, fairly high still in the draft but they totally just shredded the rest of the nfl teams 
because he was falling down and the Patriots saw him there and decided to grab him because of so many good things that the young running back has. He's so similar to someone like a Rex Burkhead, but also has so many more abilities. So they are getting a guy who will help immensely in the New England Patriots run game, but also help in the game of protecting Tom Brady while also helping him in the pass game. Patriots second still comes in a defensive end in Chase Winovich, a guy who has something to prove, a guy who is better than a lot of the first round talent that we saw go, uh, better than guys we saw um, go in the second round also. He is a very talented prospect that just so happened to fall and seemed to fall exactly in the Patriots' hands. A very wound up guy who will help add some depth some very much needed depth at the Patriots defensive line, especially after um, Trey Flowers' departure. They will get a young defensive end that is good in both the run game and rushing the passer that they can develop over time. The fact that he has something to prove in the NFL and has a chip on his shoulder is just another good thing for the Patriots and will make his mentality even better, which will in result produced more on the field we've seen it a lot we've seen it with guys like tom brady and julian edelman it seems like guys that come into the new england organization that have something to prove come out being fan favorite superstars then the patriots drafted yanni kajust an offensive tackle who has a little bit of injury problems but is a very great built um offensive tackle and was actually regarded as some as, as one of the better offensive tackle, offensive linemen in this year's draft. And they were worse offensive linemen, even graded worse, that got taken before him. He's a guy that really just has to work out his mechanics. And with a guy like Dante Scarnecchia behind him, working the offensive line, give him a few years and he is going to be an elite starting lineman for Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. And let's not even mention the fact that the Patriots went in the second round and got a cornerback. Now, some may say this is stupid, but it was actually a brilliant move by the Patriots going ahead and getting a six foot four cornerback, a very versatile cornerback that brings amazing height to the Patriots already elite secondary. He will help make it one of the best, if not the best in the NFL but most importantly will help provide the Patriots to be able to do many more different things with their defense and will help them put, you know, coming into the future. All in all, for a team like New England to have gotten that much productive players, that much potential just in the three rounds, in the first round, in the Kill Harry, second round, um, Jawan Williams, third round, a Damian Harris, a Yannick Just and a Chase Winovich is just extremely unbelievable. Patriots are building an elite wide receiver group, and that really helped with the addition of Nikhil Harry. Patriots don't really have to worry about who that second guy is anymore. They had great depth to this offensive line to keep Brady healthier in order to help in the pass game, in order to keep Tom Brady playing as long as he possibly can, but to also help in the run game where you cue in a Damian Harris, a guy who is going to really help switch up the momentum in the running backs and the rotation that they end up using, uh, whatever that rotation ends up being in that crowded running back group. But to add something different, to add more versatility to the running back group and to also add some depth there great pickup by the Patriots and then for the Patriots to establish this pass rush and this run stopping even more when they have an elite secondary is just going to make their defense a top five defense in this league as you are now looking at a Michael Bennett on one side, a Chase Winovich on the other, and then a Lauren Sky and Mike Pinnell, who are the two top-graded interior defenders in the AFC East, grading both over an 87 on the season. It's no question that the Patriots have, without a doubt, gotten better post-draft. But in this video, I really went in depth. I talked about the picks. I talked about what other depth the Patriots have and really how it all comes together for the Patriots to be one of the best, if not the best team coming out post-draft. 
So what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure you guys like and subscribe. It helps me, the channel, and even you guys out very, very, very much. Make sure you guys share this video with everybody who knows from the Patriots Global Family. And other than that, I will catch you guys in another video.